What's up, y'all? We're out here at the range to check out another one of these Henry's, but this time it's chambered in 3030 Winchester. That's definitely a good start. Let's go over here and take a look at this thing. All right, y'all, let's take a quick look at this thing and then we'll have some more fun with it. So like I said, you're looking at the lever action Henry chambered in 3030. This is the model H009GL. Uh, I believe the GL just stands for something to do with the large loop. This is the large loop version of it, which y'all know I'm a big fan of. My other Henrys that don't come with that, I almost always switch to a large loop. So I'm glad that was on it. Walnut stock and four end on this thing. Really nice, got some really nice looking checkering on on it with some separations there i really like this because the rest of mine uh th this is different than the other one so they're not all exactly the same it's got some more little fanciness down in the checker and back here on the grip area got a nice rubber recoil pad back here on the stock on the front end up here you got a 20 inch round steel barrel this is also a side gate model which is another thing y'all know that's pretty much a must have for me with these henry's the side gate the 20 inch barrel and the large lever loop those are pretty much my three must haves when i I'm looking at these Henry rifles. Now, of course, you can also load it up here from the magazine tube if that's how you'd rather load it instead of the side gate. It does have a five round capacity in the tube. Obviously, you got your exposed hammer back here. As far as sights, you got your standard semi buckhorn in the rear with the diamond on it, adjustable for elevation and windage. And then in the front, as usual, you got the dovetail blade with the brass bead in it. It is also drilled and tapped in the receiver. So if you want to put you an optic plate on there and mount some type of optic, um, honestly, this is one that I'm might do that on i hadn't decided yet but just the plain steel black ones like this i feel like an optic doesn't take away too much from them so i might put me some type of optic on here just really quick a look at the other side i mean that wood is just absolutely fantastic y'all it's got that ghost striping in it depending on which way you look at it i really 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 love the wood on these things beautiful wood now what we got planned today is pretty much the usual routine for when i pick up these new tools i'm not going to get real crazy as far as trying to get tight tight groups out there at 100 yards. I'm gonna make sure it's sighted in pretty decent at about 25 on paper. Then I'll probably plank some steel all the way out to 100. I, like I say, I'm not gonna get real crazy until I decide of what kind of optic I'm gonna put on it. Then I'll try to tighten it up. But today's more or less just the usual, having fun with it, making sure it functions well, hitting some two liters, some steel, some boom booms. And, and like I say, just having a lot of fun out here. But I'm not gonna get too long winded out here with it. Y'all seen my other Henry's. It's basically the same deal, just changing in 3030 this time so let me get everything set up over here and let's see if we can have some fun all right y'all i got us a paper target set up down there at 25 yards like i say i'm not gonna get real crazy today about getting some super tight groups i just want to see if it's in the vicinity and then i'll plink some steel out there as long as it can hit some steel right now i want to make sure my iron sights are close but like i say i'm pretty sure i'm gonna put an optic on this so we're just gonna get it close today and then have a little fun um i don't even know if i mentioned but i got five rounds loaded up what i'm running today is this remington core locked 150 grain uh core lock soft point that's all it is just regular old core lock so let's see what we can do down here at 25 yards y'all all right let me see where i'm at before i go slinging too many more all right i don't see that one on the new target i put so this thing is either high or low or left or right or whatever i'm gonna try another one down there at the bottom i got a feeling it's high just based on where i hit that boom boom so i'm gonna shoot a little bit low on the target see where that one hit we're pretty doggone high because i was actually aiming at the bottom of the target on that right there so let's try this out that probably hit about the same place i'm guessing yeah right there around it so i'm having a hold at the bottom of the target to get those shots that y'all are seeing out there let me put a couple more down there see if i can figure the hold out because unfortunately all right, that one's probably going to be a little bit higher than the others. No, that's right about in there. So I, I figured out where I need to hold, but it's, it's really not where I want to be having to hold at. Let's put these last couple. See where that's at.
All right, y'all, I got us loaded up with five more rounds and I moved this on out a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use these on the 50 and the 75. Hopefully it'll be one and two. And then the last three I'll use out there to 100. So if I miss on the 50 or 75, I may not even go out to the 100, but let's see what we can do. Like I say, right here first, we're gonna hit the 50. You're the yellow one's the 50, the pink one's the 75. I'm gonna try to aim about midway on this silhouette. All right, that had no problem at all hitting. And that was just a hair high, so it's hitting pretty good out there at, at right now where I've got it zeroed and, and got my hole point. So let's try that out there to 75, y'all. This, this lead sled is very awkward for, for cycling this lever action. All right, we hit that one, no problem. So that's almost right in the center. This thing is actually pretty good on right now. Um, even as far as the windage, it's, it's pretty straight right now. So let me go down there and I'll reset the cameras and put them down there at 100 and we'll run these last three. All right, y'all, I'm absolutely about to melt out here, but I got us moved out there to 100. Let's see if we can get lucky and hit it with these last three. All right, got that one. Let me take a look and see where that hit at. All right, that one was favoring over to the left, so maybe that was me pulling it, I imagine. All right, got the second one. All right, that's more like it. I pulled it on back over to the right. I think that was me on that first one moving left. Let's see if we can go for the last one at 100, y'all. There we go, three for three at 100. You can't really ask for more than that out of iron sights. All right, y'all, we just did sneak a couple of them hits on the steel out there at 100, but around here, if it rings the steel, it counts, so we good on that. But since it's such a hot summer day out here, I think we might as well slice this open a watermelon. That did it for sure. All right, y'all, I was gonna end it off right there, but something just didn't feel right. Now I think we can end it. All right, y'all, that right there is gonna do it for the lever action Henry chambered in 3030 Winchester. This thing ran absolutely flawless, just like I knew it would. Uh, I haven't had any single problem out of any of the Henrys I own, and I really don't ever expect to have one. Uh, these things are just made well. They run well. They're super reliable. Uh, as far as accuracy, with iron sight straight out of the box, and, uh, and that once I got it adjusted, I mean, it's right on in there. Honestly, any kind of d discrepancies, differences in the shots are probably 100% me. Uh, hit the steel 50, 75 out of the 100, three out of three so i cannot complain one bit about this henry rifle i'm glad i finally did pick up something in 3030 this is the first tool i have at all that's chambered in 3030 um you know it's a 3030 is just kind of the the og brush gun i guess you could call it so I, I had to have one for testing purposes and and honestly i just wanted one in the collection that's all there is to it but y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about this henry in 3030 do y'all have a 3030 chambered henry do you have a 3030 chambered in some other kind of tool let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. If you did enjoy this video, as always, reach down and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Take a minute, if you would, and check out all my affiliate links down below in the video description. Every single bit of that helps the channel, so I really thank y'all for that. I appreciate all my Range Game members for reaching out and hitting that join button, and every single one of y'all out there that watches my videos, hits that thumbs up, subscribes to the channel, and leave me them comments below. Again, let me know what you think about this Henry. I had one more thing plan to do out here today but it's so doggone hot i don't know if i'm gonna get to it or not i got a bunch of good stuff headed y'all's way either way so make sure you stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon